Just so you guys know, Godseeker Niri is great in her one area. She is a one-trick pony, though, because outside of Sand Devil, she's kind of just mid in other places. She's not bad. She's just mid. It's nice to see you guys again, and um, we're going to talk about Godseeker Aniri. And I wanted to get the elephant out of the room first, or I guess the big elephant in the room, I should say, because uh, when it comes to Godseeker Aniri, she is synonymous with Sand Devil. So for this champion guide type video, uh, we're not going to be talking about Godseeker Aniri in the context of Sand Devil. I think it's been beaten multiple times by me, by everybody else. Godseeker Aniri plus somebody else gets the job done in Sand Devil. So I'm not going to talk about that. But if you are looking for a Sand Devil specific guide using Godseeker Aniri, you know, I got a couple of those videos myself. And so do, you know, 10 other content creators. We're going to focus on Godseeker Aniri in the context of uh, if you were to pull Godseeker Aniri as a newer player, uh, where could you use her? Where would you want to use her, assuming you don't have a stacked up roster? I have two Aniris here. I guess we can talk about both of them uh, as to why I've built two and, and different blessings and yada yada yada. But we're going to focus on Aniri number one. Let's go ahead and talk about her kit. Her A1 is going to attack one enemy, then heal the ally with the lowest HP by 5% of their max HP. Their max HP. So let's say we take Godseeker Aniri in and we bring her in with a Countess Lix. 5% of Countess Lix's HP is going to be whatever 5% of 28k is. So she is going to... It's kind of like a mini immortal set if she happens to be the one with the lowest amount of HP. Her A2 is an AoE. Heals all allies. Your entire squad is going to get this heal. All right? 15% of their max HP. And then decreases the duration of all buffs on the enemy by one turn and then increases the duration of all buffs on your squad by one turn she was used quite a bit extensively as one of those champions for the infinity comp in hydra before it got nerfed this in and of itself still has some play when we're talking about keeping your squad alive keeping your team alive in the dungeons maybe even uh, arena there's some cool mechanics when it comes to decreasing buffs and increasing buffs because sometimes you go into a fight and some dudes are in their uh, you know stone skin if you're decreasing a buff on somebody you're not proccing polymorph god you know ever since i started uh, recording videos i always need water by my side because my mouth gets so dry her a3 is going to revive a dead ally with 50 percent hp and then fills their turn meter by 50 percent and resets the cooldown on all of their skills passive effect increases the amount of healing allies receive by 10 percent that's pretty nice because healing. If an ally is about to get killed by a fatal hit, preempts that hit and instantly places a revive on death buff on them for one turn before the damage is taken. I guess you're coming back whether you like it or not. Now for her blessings, I was experimenting a little bit, right? So I have this Aniri in Miracle Heal and I've got this Aniri in Emergency Heal. I was testing them both out in the Sand Devil. They both work in the Sand Devil, different speed tunes. But uh, I was trying to see the difference between uh, Miracle Heal. So the way that Miracle Heal works is... So I'm trying to learn to talk slower because I talk so quickly that I end up stumbling over my words. I need to be a little bit more cognizant and articulate myself a lot better. Miracle Heal is going to restore a portion of destroyed max HP whenever a champion heals themselves. So on Aniri, where she's pretty much healing... Um, all the time especially or i guess when you put her in a re regen and immortal set she's going to be healing all of the time and when you're going up against somebody like the sand devil or even hydra your hp is getting destroyed but you're also healing or you have a chance to heal at one star it's only 50 percent at two stars or sorry at three stars it's 75 percent and then you have a 100 percent chance at five stars the issue is not a lot of people have five star blessings for Godseeker and Eerie. The more, the merrier, obviously. She is wearing Regen and Immortal, and this is because I want her to stay alive. She's going to be a support champion. She's going to be healing by 15, 18% actually, with Immortal. But if you happen to put her in um, Regen and Defiant, it's going to be a bit different. She's only healing by 15%, but she gets a boost to defense and then damage mitigation from AoE attacks. 
most of you guys are probably going to have more access to regen and um, immortal because defiant gear is from the doom tower it's from one of those bosses this anary is an emergency heal there's nothing wrong with this either especially if you're not going to be using her in the sand devil anytime the shield that she has expires removes or it's broken she's going to heal by a specific amount three percent of her max hp six percent of her max hp here or if you're at a five star and above 9 and 15 percent respectively when it comes to the pieces of gear because i know some of you guys like looking at pieces of gear i'm going to show them to you while i drink this water because my mouth is starting to get cotton mouth focusing on stonky stronky stats if you want her to survive you want her to go fast the faster she goes the more she heals the more defense she has the more HP she has, she's going to survive more. And actually, with HP, she'll be healing a lot more. It's a percentage off of her total HP. So this Aniri has 84, almost 85. She's almost got 5k defense. Now, uh, when it comes to those specific stats, you don't need to have those stats that high. I understand that you might not have these stats, or maybe you have more. Maybe you're one of those guys who can do better than I can. Cool. But if you're not, all you need to know is just to do your best in the sets that you can get. All right, do your best, guys. You want her to have as much HP as possible. You want her to have as, as much defense as possible. What is a good HP? What is a good defense? It, you know, it kind of depends on, on your level. It kind of depends on who you are and what your account is looking like. What gear do you have? Some of you guys will tell me like, okay, that's kind of like a, a broad and general, um, not exact number. I know some of you guys want exact numbers. I can't really give you guys exact numbers because it's always going to be different. But uh, generally speaking, what I like to go for is about for support champions that I want to live, I'd say like 60k HP, 35, 3000 even, 3500 plus uh, defense. All right, so those are some benchmark numbers to maybe look for. I kind of just pulled them out of my head right now. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just an innate feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Those numbers are what I'm feeling right now. 60k and 3000 but you know if 60k doesn't work for you try 50k y you get the drill right if something doesn't work for you just walk those stats down pick it one one by one and see what works for you you do want her to go fast all right so my my benchmark number for what is fast is 200 plus especially if you're only um uh, early to mid game even late game right so trying to attain all of these numbers while making her fast is important but um I gotta, I gotta let you guys know also, this isn't as fast as she can go. I, I have her speed tuned. I have her speed tuned, guys. She's speed tuned for Sand Devil. So uh, she's kind of locked into these specific speeds. Uh, for this specific Aniri, I'm, God, I, I don't want to talk about it. She's fully booked, but this one isn't fully booked, so she's going at a different speed. She's going at 259. HP, defense, speed. Those are the stat priorities. You don't need crit rate unless you're trying to make, make her smack, and if you can make her smack, why not go with that? Get a little crit damage on her, too. There's a little bit of attack. Res could be useful in support champions. I don't really, um, well, you know, to be honest, I haven't really used... We're going to try her. We're going to try and see how she performs in Arena and in the dungeons as well as Hydra. So in those specific areas, in that context, yeah, res could help. Accuracy, you don't need her or you don't need accuracy. I don't know why she has accuracy, but maybe it's just the pieces of uh, gear that she's got. Again, don't blindly copy masteries, guys, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy these masteries. We're taking defense. These are Sand Devil masteries, by the way, but these also work for whatever content you're looking for. Res, increased healing, more healing, uh, more healing whenever somebody else on the opposite end heals. Um, chance to remove a random debuff whenever she loses 25% or more of her HP. She doesn't do any buffs on allies, so I took this just because I don't like red dots and there wasn't really anything here that I wanted. Like, I don't want this because she's tuned in for Sand Devil, but if you're not using her for Sand Devil or for specific comps, go ahead and take Cycle of Magic. We're taking damage mitigation because we want her to live, right? Retribution as well as Deterrence are counterattack mastery, so go ahead and take that. We don't need anything from here. Focus specifically on increased healing, increased healing, increased healing, 
Spirit Haste, so that whenever somebody else does die, she gets a boost to speed. And then max HP boost. You could take the offense tree. If you wanted to take the offense tree, go ahead and work your way down to War Master, especially if you're going to be using her in something like Hydra or Clan Boss. She could you know, help you out in Clan Boss early on. You could take extra crit rate, some crit damage if you're trying to build her with more damage. And I would take Heart of Glory because she's more than likely always going to, going to be topped off if you have her in the right sets. You could take Life Drinker. I would take Bring It Down. Uh, there's nothing wrong with taking Singled Out. In fact, uh, I would take Singled Out. Or, or actually, you can't because you can, you can only take one from each side. I would take Life Drinker and then Bring It Down as well as Methodical and then take War Master if you're going to be using her in Clan Boss. I would try to refrain from using her in Arena. I think there's other options, farmable options, especially early on. Uh, Aniri, you know, if you have nobody else, go ahead and throw her in your arena team, maybe even for 3v3. But as it stands, like I, I spent like 30, 40 minutes trying to come up with a team that made sense using Godseeker Aniri, and none of it made sense, and I kept losing. And it would be dishonest of me to show you guys uh, any wins when it's kind of unrealistic and it's kind of like just like me nitpicking certain battles. So we're going to go ahead and try to use godseeker in the dungeons and we'll just kind of see how she goes so let's just pick some random champions um well not random i'm gonna kind of eyeball them and see um what we can come up with if we can come up with anything uh significant and you know we'll, we'll, let's run that let's run that and see what happens uh, i just realized i don't really have any damage dealers I mean, Shamael for sure, but I guess when we get to the boss, Geomancer will be there to reflect to reflect damage. It'll be good for survivability. Ability. Uh, Godseeker Aniri is going to be doing heals, but so is Ugo. And we don't really have to worry about Inquisitor because he has his own Guardian set. He's also helping to keep the team alive just by having the Guardian set because with Guardian set, you're... Uh, taking some damage or he's taking some damage so when we get to the boss geomancer is going to be using his quicksand ability and he's going to reflect a lot of that damage if we're even going to proc that because the ice school needs to be hit pretty hard for that to activate i should have brought like royal guard or something that would have made more sense but like i said just wanted to throw some stuff in we'll take out ugo or we'll we'll go we'll, we'll we'll do a different dungeon run with with uh, without Ugo. All right, here we are. Did we got the HP burn on? So whenever we get hit, if we get hit, all that HP burn damage or the, all of that damage is going to get reflected. Anyways, what what uh what shows are you guys watching? My wife and I watched. Um, Fallout. Are you guys watching the Fallout series? There, you see that reflect the damage? The Fallout series on Amazon. Um, you know, I've, I've played all the Fallout games, and it was cool to see some Easter eggs. I think it was a good show for what it was. I think it would have been better if you never played the games or if you basically knew nothing about it. Like, my wife really enjoyed it. My brother, uh, who is a heavy, hardcore fan of Fallout, like, he buys the Collector's Edition, he's got the, the Brotherhood of Steel helmet, like, he didn't like it because of some inconsistencies, um, you know, in, in the story. But I thought it was pretty good. I try to enjoy things for what they are. In my uh, last video, I think, I had the the colors, the vault colors. I had the, the blue and the, the yellow. Great game. Good show. Definitely watch that. And then right now, since I, I'm still, I just watched, I caught up and I, I watched the season two for Invincible. I put the colors for Invincible in the back. The blue, it looks kind of greenish but it's blue light blue blue and then yellow so if you haven't watched invincible invincible is a good show and if you haven't read the comics the comics are even better i remember when that when i saw season one um and season one ended i was like oh my gosh i need to know what happens next so i went on the internet and read the entire uh comic series like i binged it you know i'm starting to think 
after you know recording this i'm starting to think that it's it's basically just she has her one trick which is sand devil like yeah she can she can help you out in the dungeons but there are so many different options that you might probably already have and it's obvious she's gonna help you here uh okay uh clan boss she can help you in the clan boss if you don't have anybody else obviously you could use her she helps out with the heals oh what about um fire or not fire knight hydra I'm sure you could come up with a team for hydra let's let's see here let's see how this goes we're on normal let's see if she uh brings anything to the squad here oh i guess when this head does take some buffs away and then spreads it to your to um to the entire set of hydra heads you could use Godseeker Neri's decreased buff duration move and try to take those buffs away in a way. Here, this would be good to use her A2. I'm like nitpicking. I'm trying to find some use for her outside of Sand Devil. Okay, yeah. So for Hydra, she did do decently well. I mean, she's brought the heals. She's trying to keep everybody topped off. Uh, whenever somebody or whenever one of the Hydra heads got a buff, her A2 was able to decrease the buff duration on the enemy side. So I didn't have to worry so much um, when, it, when it comes to the mischief head and um, yeah you know her her heels are pretty nice to have we got our one key so that's nice and I just want to take this time to thank you guys the community for letting me make videos for you for making content for you guys because I really really enjoy doing this it's so much fun I'm very passionate about it and I wanted to thank you guys for 1285 subscribers but honestly like in the context of, of Sand Devil, she's awesome. She's superb because she helps you cheese the Sand Devil. But honestly, outside of that, she's just kind of mid for the other content. Like, she she's good. She's okay. But she's not, like, exceptional. I can see myself choosing a lot of other champions over Godseeker and Eerie. But again, every, everybody's account is different. Outside of Sand Devil, she's kind of just mid in other places. She's not bad. She's just mid. But you know who's not mid? Who is an excellent champion? Support champion? Stagnite? You already know? Check that video.